When it comes to fishing lures, bigger isn't necessarily better. And sometimes less is more. Twitch it, twitch it, twitch it, twitch it. Oh, big redfish, giant redfish. Oh boy, he just ate it. Holy cow, look at the size of this redfish. There's no better example than the X-Rap Subwalk 7 from Rapala, a miniature subsurface lure that's deadly effective in the shallows. Man, what a nice trout. Quite often, you gotta downsize your bait because of the conditions. So what I'm telling you is the Rapala Subwalk in size seven is the perfect bait for doing that. This year, Rapala really outdid themselves. This is the new Subwalk 7. Oh, yeah. What's great about this bait is it's so diverse. I mean, I can fish this thing in, in all kinds of different conditions, fresh or salt. It's better for skinny water where the nine kind of needed some water to operate in. This thing can go in super skinny water, still give you that underwater side-to-side -side sachet that uh, you're looking for in a walking bait. Like its bigger brothers, the Subwalk 9 and 15, the Subwalk 7 dances and darts in a side-searching cadence just beneath the waves, regardless of wind, chop, or rough water conditions. The lateral tail fins accentuate its stability and gliding action. Pause it, and it ever so slowly sinks with a head down attitude, momentarily vulnerable to attack. Hey, good job, For the cold water, he's frisky. Redfish shoulders. You know, the Subwalk 7 really is the perfect size bait for snook, redfish, and even the sea trout. The reason why I like the 7 is because of its size. It is absolutely the perfect size and it doesn't eliminate the small fish bite. The other thing that I like about it is, it's a great size lure to throw on a spinning rod. You know, we've been fishing these redfish in the same places for a lot of years, and we encounter a lot of really spooky fish. The Subwalk 7 is the perfect size bait because it doesn't even hardly make a ring when it hits the water. Now, the way I like to work it is I like to put the rod tip down, twitch, twitch, two twitches consecutively, and then pause. And when it pauses, what that bait is doing is it's gliding under the surface. That was perfect as soon as that was boom. If conditions are right, and the fish you're trying to catch are aggressive, you can speed the retrieve. You can use short, quick jerks of the rod tip like this and make it dart from side to side more erratically. If you're dealing with a post front situation or fish that have been pressured or fish that just aren't in the mood, that's when you want to slow the bait down and let it glide more. While only two and three quarter inches long and three eighths ounce, the Subwalk 7 features durable plastic on, construction guys, to stand up the sharp teeth and powerful Hold jaws. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The black nickel belly hook and feathered sure set treble tail stick and hold fast despite the wild gyrations of swift, powerful game species. And the internal holographic foil and 3D holographic eye top off the array of X wrap color patterns wow. guaranteed to catch anything that swims. Ooh. Regardless of the species you're after, whether it's fresh or saltwater game fish, bass, you know, reds, trout, small tarpon. This bait copies so many types of fords that those fish feed on. Menhaden, finger mullet, alewives, shad, shiners, all those. It's just a matter of choosing the right coloration to match the profile of the ford you're trying to match. In freshwater, the Subwalk 7 is just what an angler needs to go after largemouth and smallmouth bass. And even Big Pike can't resist its tantalizing subsurface performance. Whenever fish want to walk the dog action, but are unwilling to rise all the way to the surface, get down to their level with the X-Rap Subwalk 7.
any angler that's avid and within range of the coast, he's probably going to do both, fresh or salt. Here's a lure that will bridge the gap. The Subwalk 7 from Rapala. Because bigger isn't necessarily better. Better is better. <laughs> and sometimes less is more. Oh, he's almost in the trees. Billy, that little minnow, I'm telling you. 